What's up guys? As you just saw, today was a heavy deadlifting day. So I was supposed to work up to a 3x5 at an RP at 6. So my first set was 585 pounds and after that we had to drop the weight down to 545 pounds. To <coughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we had to drop the weight down to 545 pounds to achieve that RP of six. I'm not used to training right after a power to me, so I'm still kind of getting back into the groove of things. There's a couple things I had to fix in my deadlift just because I wasn't happy with the way it was moving. Like my chest was kind of facing towards the ground versus being more upright. And then after that, everything kind of rode smoothly with the last two sets. Now, after deadlifts, we did something that I normally do not do, and that is back day. So usually after deadlift day, I might do like a little bit of sprinting or something like that. But for today's workout, I was like, why not just mix it up and do back as well? So me and Marcellus lifted back right after deadlifting, and man, it... Pfft. I, I remembered why I don't do back day after deadlift. So usually whenever you do back day after deadlifting, your grip is kind of shot. So it makes it hard to kind of hold on to the weight or kind of, I don't know, it's just really, really hard to grip things. So I was trying to do pull downs, I was struggling, I was trying to do bicep curls, I was struggling. I was trying to do cable rows, I was struggling. Like everything was a struggle, but I know if I add in back day after deadlift day, it's gonna make my grip a little bit stronger. And I feel good, man. I weighed in at 100 and I think 189 to 190 pounds. And I'm feeling awesome. This is exactly where I want to be whenever it comes to training for Raw Nationals. And I feel really, 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 really solid. So I'm about to go back to my hotel, shower, and then I'm going to go eat some dinner with Sandra and her boyfriend. Then after that, we're going to all catch a movie. It's going to be me, Marcella, Sandra, and her boyfriend, Mark. It's called Enter the Dragon, I think. Do not quote me on that. It should be Enter the Dragon. But, okay. Shower. Do all that stuff, get dressed up, go eat dinner, then go watch a movie. Feel good. Good training day. Really, really good training day. All right, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so it turns out that uh, I actually was supposed to meet them right after the gym, and I went to my hotel instead, so I'm just going to meet them at the movies. So that's where we're going right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so I just got out of the movie and I got back to my hotel, and re-entering the Dragon, it was dope. I really liked it, a lot. Now, I texted a couple of people and told them it was dope. They're like, really, there's bad reviews for it? I'm like, I don't care about the reviews, bruh. I care about my experience, and it was good, I liked it. Like, I was watching them fight, and I was like, damn, I wanna go outside and kick someone's ass. I was like, what the, what the, what the, what the? So, it was, it was, I liked it. It was a good movie. I liked it. I liked it. Yo, also, I am never eating McDonald's ever again in my life. Well, at least for like the next three days. Because I feel like complete booty cheeks right now. I ate McDonald's like around 4 o'clock. And right now, I have, it's like, okay, it's like almost 10 o'clock. And I have serious, serious heartburn. And I'm bloated. I am never eating McDonald's ever again. It's actually right across the street from my hotel. That's the reason why I got it. It was, it was super convenient. I picked up McDonald's. Shame on me. Like, I'm literally looking at McDonald's. Look, check it out. It's right there, across the street. See that? McDonald's. There goes the heartburn again. Oh, man. I'm gonna go to sleep and, and call it a day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, check it out. We just picked up breakfast. It is Thursday morning. Now, I went to IHOP and I got the Big Steak Omelette, but look at this, man. I did not know that you could modify your Big Steak Omelette to have egg whites. So instead of having all that fat, fat from the normal eggs, I got the egg whites. So we have the Big, big Steak Omelette with egg whites and then red velvet pancakes. Now, this is not Walden Farm syrup. But it's gonna have to do for today. Now I'm still on the quest to gaining more weight. I'm probably 189 pounds. I didn't feel like stepping on the scale, but I really, really want to get to around 190 to 191 pounds. So whenever I'm training, I'm training at the heaviest I could possibly train at without being out of range for a water cut. So let's eat, man. I'm super, super duper. Seven that purple like Prince. Uh -huh. Forty my toe, that's my wrench. Bottom like Jake at a time. I stay in the color for rhymes. My bitch better boost the time. I hit multiple jobs with Cassandra. We have our sex on the side. Put it up. Smoking the blow and I let it up. Thanks. Huh. Can't hit my weed. Hey, can't water my seat. Hey, can't play in my garden. Hey. Excuse the nonsense, guys. It's time to head on to the gym. So, you know, of course, I had to perform my pre gym ritual. I mean, you gotta do your pre gym ritual. It's the only way that you're gonna have a successful workout. And that includes dancing and getting live. So, 
now that I've performed the pre-gym ritual, I can tell this bench session is about to be really smooth. <laughs> I mean, if you don't do it, I understand. Like, you probably don't know about that. It's like actually the secret to gains. But I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay guys, we're here at the gym. It's time to work. So today is gonna be one of my typical like power building days. Whenever I'm doing my heavy compound lifts, then after that we're gonna move on to like isolation work. So it's gonna be like a shoulder day for today's workout. But first, we need to knock out the power lifting portion of this lift, which is going to be bench press. Now I have a three by seven at an RP6, and that comes out to 305 pounds. Now, on normal days, most days, I would love to be pushing 315 pounds, but unfortunately, I am moving a little bit out on my grips, so my strength is gonna be down a little bit, and I have to compensate that by lowering the weight. So it's like, I can't ego lift. I'm gonna have to do what I can with this newfound bench press grip, kind of work with what I got. So first set of seven, RP8, no, RP6 <laughs> with 305 pounds. So remember guys, now my grip has moved to my middle finger on the ring versus my ring finger. So just a tad bit wider. Okay, so set number two went really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this last set. Once again, 305 pounds for a set of seven at RP6. Wait. Did we put the weight back on? Yeah, that feels light. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 25, damn. 10, 5, 25, 25. <laughs> yeah, it's on there, bro. Oh, damn. Like mid set, I'm like, bro, this is. Light. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna have to readjust. We, we I'm gonna wait five more minutes and then go back again. Yeah. So here's set three. Like the last set I was going, I was like, bro, this feels really, really light. That's why I had to make sure the weight was actually on there. But okay, here's a real last set. Okay guys, so I had a bench only day and it went swell. It only took like, what, probably like 15, like 15, 15 minutes? 20, 20 yeah. minutes at best. Yeah. Super, super quick and I love this type of training because I have one focus for each day and I can give my all to that and then after that I'm free to do my bodybuilding stuff. So we are about to get like a very, very high volume shoulder routine in but I still wanna do, I definitely wanna start though a shoulder workout by doing a compound movement. So probably like, Press, yeah, press, yeah. barbell press, something like that. So yeah. let's work. Okay, so I had to take the shirt off because I already know I'm gonna be sweating a lot. But we're gonna be starting the workout by doing um, dumbbell shoulder presses. But we're gonna pyramid up to heavy sets, starting with the 60s, and we're gonna keep going up and up and up. I just want to murder shoulders today, man. So let's get it.
Okay guys, so now we're moving on to the second compound movement and that's gonna be some hammer strength shoulder presses. So what we're gonna do is pyramid up. Uh, we did a plate, a plate and a quarter. And now we're doing two sets of, uh, we're doing two sets of two plates. And then we're probably gonna pop up the weight again, probably add a quarter and then maybe three, uh, three plates on each side. So what we're about to do next, because we're kind of short on time, we're almost short on time, is we're gonna superset face pulls with lateral and front raises. So it's almost like three exercises in one, but in a double superset. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Nice. Look at that, man. Nice. tricep hurts in the best way oh my gosh holding my camera hurts right now oh all right let's go come on Dallas come on let's go find that barrier push past it find that barrier push past it pass it come on pass it there you go there you go there you go, Ross. Let's go, Russ Wall. Yep. Need to work. Yep. Easy. Come on. Grind. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got one. Get that front raise. Uh, yeah. oh, okay, guys. So we had we were kind of like on a time crunch. Marcellus had a client they had to get to at 5:30. So we did a really really quick shoulder workout, and it turned out to be really really good. So uh, that last thing was like kind of a tri set with lateral raises, um, face pulls, and it, like I was dying, man. I had to kind of like grunt and like go like. Ugh. Ugh, and screams kind of finish up the reps, but man, that was a really, really effective workout. The way I'm training now really allows me to focus on my compound movements. So whenever I'm doing like a bodybuilding workout, I like to start off with a heavy compound movement and get that out of the way. So I'm able to give my energy to that compound movement and get the most out of it. So after that, 
the, only, the only thing that's left is doing isolation work. So as you guys saw, we started off with compound movements for this workout. We did bench press. We also did some dumbbell shoulder presses and the hammer strength shoulder presses. So then after that, we kind of went into isolation work, which was the uh, the the face pulls and the lateral and frontal raises. So it's so I think my favorite way of training at least is to go in work the heavy compound movements and then after that move on to isolation work and it, it just the pump is ridiculous like my shoulders hurt you guys can't see it right now but i'm literally resting the camera on my knee because i cannot i, I just can't hold it right now i'm super geeked right now because like it's just like a really really good workout and it's really hard to come across those like marcel was pushing me he was yelling at me and once again guys i always stress the importance of having a good workout partner it's like sometimes you get in the gym with someone and like maybe you connect on a personal level like to a fault like you'll start talking to that person a little bit too much you're resting in between sets marcellus is kind of like okay let's turn it on let's stop talking let's work let's talk shit to, let's talk shit to each other let's get this way moving so really really good workout i'm super geeked now i'm in a great mood i'm actually gonna go try and pick up something to eat real quick uh i really want burritos then after that we're gonna be meeting up sandra or hopefully sandra marcellus and mark to get some ramen there's this place called oni ramen and uh kind of feeding for some ramen right now bruh but uh let's see if we can find burritos all right check it out guys i got some firehouse sub i usually get i usually get a uh, subway i actually could not find any burritos around in the area it was like 30 minutes out so i decided to get firehouse sub firehouse sub well that's really hard to say but check this out look at all this traffic over here so it was like a huge line to get gas because apparently um gas prices are skyrocketing i saw one um gas station selling gas for like 9.99 i think that's crazy it's really crazy but it's like there's traffic around the gas station because people are trying to load up now before the gas prices really really shoot up mm. let's dig into this bad boy really good. My shoulders are absolutely fried right now. But there is a positive to this because college football is now back. We're currently watching Ohio State versus Indiana. I miss college football, man. Shout out to all the homies that I have that play college football. Shout out to Josh that plays for Purdue. Shout out to my boy Jet that plays for TCU. Shout out to my boy X that plays for Alabama. And shout out to Torn that also plays for Alabama too. Oh, and I can't forget Kiki that plays for AM. But college football is back. My shoulders are dead. And uh, I'm full. <laughs> Go shit that proud of that Fendi. Yeah. Ice cube all about the veggies. Spent ten bands in Fendi. Uh -huh. ASAP, my niggas wet me. Alright, guys, we're at a ramen shop. And I currently got, was it, the signature miso port? Yeah. Uh, miso yeah. soup? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's, let's test this out. Bruh, that's good. That's good. Wait. Just one bite, at least an eight out of ten. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see after I finish this up, but at least, at least eight out of ten. Yeah. Check it out. Okay, guys, just finished up at Oni Ramen Shop. So it's like, I don't know if you guys, I just like eating ramen just because it, it reminds me of like anime and of course Naruto. Yeah. So ate it and like I'm incredibly full. So like this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna see my boy Marcellus here while I'm here in Fort Worth because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Um, everything in Houston is pretty much cleared up. I just waited an extra two days just to make sure that the water is all gone. So I'm gonna be driving tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up back to Houston. So just wanna thank you, Marcellus, oh, for, yeah, you know, man. for chilling me over yeah, there, chilling me of over the week and stuff like that. My city is uh, your city. I mean, there ain't much here, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's home. It's home. <laughs> okay, guys, so this video is coming to an end. I'm about to head on to my hotel room, uh, shower, and end this night. But I just wanted to say, um, if you guys do not follow Marcellus, I will direct you to his YouTube channel. So the link will be in the bio. He puts out really, really high quality content. He's more of a kind of like, he takes that scientific approach when it comes to lifting, how you can become stronger, how to lose weight. Um, all that kind of stuff like how to perform exercises and things of that nature he's a very smart individual and it's just cool because like YouTube has 
created a lot of friends for me in a sense of like you know oh, of course you see people on social media but then to meet them meet them in person and kind of like have that connection like Marcellus has been really really cool over my stay here in uh, in Fort Worth and it's like I've known he's a cool guy but to spend the last couple of days with him and hang out and get to know him and talk more on a personal level like outside of YouTube and outside of fitness and stuff like that and get to know him as an individual I've come to found that I think I've made an actual quality friend and that's really dope so it's like you know Sandra's a quality friend Marcellus is a quality friend it's just cool how YouTube and social media kind of creates this possibility to, to, to meet someone new but yeah like I said earlier if you guys want to check out Marcellus's channel and see the quality content that he has I would advise going to the link in my description box to check him out once again, Marcellus is dope, aka the Swole Fat Series, really, really awesome. But this video is coming to the end, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you guys like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's good. I'm out.